Yeah, it's a big difference since the last time I was here, right? I pulled up like literally 11.02. No one outside, man. No one outside. See the difference? See the difference? <laughs> last time I came, that thing was slapping, man. Everybody and their mama was here. Now it's just a ghost town. Let's go, you on? Got the all feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the video right now? You're back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? So y'all see it, man. Off white and the outlets. Y'all believe me? Let's flip it around. Logo. Guess how much it's going for? Twelve dollars, y'all. But it's only smalls though. Came here for one thing. These man. These escaped me during release day, man. I had a whole bunch of complications, man, with my damn data. So when I went to open up the sneaker app to try to cop, it was like I can't buy, I can't buy. It wasn't until like a month later I realized that I had no cellular data for this app, this sneakers app. So I missed out on these. But then um hit the uh, foot traffic sites, which was normal. Uh, I think they even went on sale, but then Pierce sold out, so I wasn't able to get it then. And I told myself I would cop. So I'm in the Nike alley several times for a great price, but I was like, nah, nah, I'm gonna get it cheaper. Now here I am back again, finally find them in the outlet, but now they're retail gang. So if I was gonna pay retail originally, I don't mind paying retail now. I was able to ask the lady in the back of my size. They got bigger size, size 10 to 13. I still was able to find me a 12 to 25. So I'm Gucci with that, man. I'm content. So I guess I'm gonna pull it, man. It's part of doing business, right? You win some, you lose some, man. Not every shoe you get discounted. Definitely copping. I like these way better than the Animal Instincts uh, 2.0s. 1.0 is probably my the favorite of all. That's crazy that, that they're there, man. I was about to get out of here. And I forgot how much to show these joints. Jordan 1 mids. I don't know if you call these the cotton greens or what. The Gucci's, I have no idea. A few sizes, size 12 and 13, man. $80, not bad, man. And right next to it is the Animal Instincts 1.0, which we talked about earlier. All right, I think I did my duty. I'm out of here. Here's another update for um, Celebration Store of these joints, man. These wasn't here before. Air Jordan 1 High reacts, $119. I wonder if these will ever become the move, man, later on in the future. A lot of people pass on them now. I wonder if this is something that they'll cop later. 119 is the price. Here's another update, man. These Vince Carters are 75 with additional 20% off. I know y'all looking at me crazy like, yo, Frank, where's the glove? I left it in the car. I got some hand sanitizer, so I'm Gucci. Nike also has some hand sanitizer before you leave the building. Size 11 and a half, 11 and a half, 12s. Not a bad price if you like this shoe, man. Some more updates, you got the React uh, 55s for 50 with 20% off. That's crazy. That's actually a good deal. Again, I already tell y'all how much I like the 87s because of the translucent uh, midfoot. I love that. But this pair, I'm gonna pass. Pass for me, pass for me. Um, this is crazy right here. It's another cheap and affordable shoe. The Nike Airspan 2 with 35, 20% off. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Colorway's not that bad. It's like infrared, I think. Oh, solar red and white. Now, my childhood shoe, man, 70 with 20% off. I think it ended up being $55. At this price, you know I have to cop, man. I got to cop. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Multiple sizes, size 12, 13, 11s. This is a damn good price, man. So I got to pull the trigger, y'all. Here's another shoe, the Max Sequence 4, 50 with 20% off. I'm not a fan of this shoe, but again, another football shoe if y'all care for it. Now, this wasn't here last time I was here, man. The Zoom 2K. Uh, typically, it's the price they usually go for. All black. Multiple sizes as well for that. Here's some Air Max uh, 2017, which I don't care about, but I know a lot of y'all love Air Maxes, man. Maybe y'all might like this. 99 with 20% off, you get this 80 plus tax. It's not bad. All black. That may be fly knit, but I'm not going to touch it. There's only three pairs left, size 10 and two 11s. Oh, I'll take that back. Some more 11s. But uh, yeah, man, that's affordable. You got the Air Max 95 for additional 20% off 90. I actually like this, man. That fur, or I call carpet shag, going through the midfoot. 90 with 20% off, not a bad price. Then you also got some more 95, just the purple joint for 20% off as well. So you can get that, I don't know what, $70, maybe. I forget, I, I can't do the math. And you got an all white 90. That's what's up, man. 90 with 20% off, that's, that's, that's dope. Now this shoe is not any additional discounts, but I have to throw this in the mix, $119. And they look like it's selling too as well. So that's good. Okay, so they bought this one down to the newspaper clipping joints for 97 for 100 with 20% off, so 80 for this, that's good. They ain't really been here that long and they already went down in price, that's good. 98s, 90 with 20 off for this joint. The Gabby's are still regular price, I can't blame them. More 98s, no problem, man. More 98s, 100 with 20% off, man. 
That's dope. And they already got two bins of that. One more 98, 99 with 20% off. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Yo, they got the Air Jordan 6 infrared joints. Ooh, with the Nike on the back heel as well. For $44, man. Full size running. <laughs> That's dope though, man. Oh, man, I actually would buy my son this, but I think he already outgrow a nine. I think he has, man. But that's dope, man. Pull up if y'all want them. Yeah, I got some uh, some kids that sell real D sizes. All right, show. So you got some um, Nike Air 200 for 60, 20% off of that. I actually like this colorway a lot better, man. 60 with 20% off this uh, candy cane looking color. Dope shoe. I wish I can get them in uh, men's, but they didn't have my size. The last time I saw them um, on the back wall at the Winter Garden store, man. I think it's a great price. Jordan 6, 17, 23. Anyways, it's 55 with 20% off. And so is this joint right here, man. Uh, what's this called again? The pink white or brush pink white for 80 with 20% off, a few sizes left. This is just a recap video, man. I'm only showing y'all what's in the building. I already recorded this spot. Uh, I think last time I was there with the Supreme joints. Um, I had to pull up because I had to get a different size and joggers. So that's why I'm here. But um, since I was here, I saw a lot of new prices, so I just want to let y'all know what's in the building, man. So this is a recap video, or updated to what's the last time I was in here. So they're calling these the slip. It look like the cancellation pack to me. They got the tag that you'll find on the inside of the tongue, $65, all white joint. No additional discounts, but I just bring that up because that is something new. And then they got the black pair. Same thing, the incorporated uh, swoosh, $55, black. The inside of the Nike tongue, still on, on the outside rather. Nike here on the bottom of the tongue. $55 for this joint. I'm not even mad at it. It's something I would rock, man. Jordan Wings logo on the back here. And also what you will find behind the tongue as well. If you ever look at your Air Jordan 1 high OGs and you find the tongue, you'll see this right here. That's literally behind the tongue as it is right there. I'm not sure. You usually find this on the outside of the tongue. Yeah. Just giving you some ideas what that also look like. Yep, so Jordan 1. Yo, and we're back in the sneaker room, man. I'm gonna come over some items that I purchased, get a little bit of explanation behind this whole video and how it was shot, and also my cops and my pickups. First, Off-Whites was in the building. I went back there like a day or two later and they have Off-White shirts. And as I saw, there was two sizes left, but I asked you know, an employee and they was like, yeah, we have um, some more in the back. So I asked for two sizes because I didn't know how these fit. You already know Nike is not letting anyone try on any clothing. Matter of fact, I think all department stores outside of Nike, whether it's Levi's and any other department stores, they're not letting anyone try on anything. So I had to hedge my bets. Like, let me get a medium and a large, and I'll try when I get home. So without further ado, let's get into these pickups, man. I picked up two joints. Two joints of these teal tuxedo off-white shirts man i probably showing you guys some b-roll right now and this is the pickup and this is how it looks on me as you can tell you can see the eagle in the back with the word logo with a nike swoosh below that and obviously on the front of the chest you see the tuxedo logo this is a size medium i'm not sure if you guys are seeing that and look at the price and then it had it on sale for 29 but yo that's not what i paid i paid 12 99 for one. Twelve dollars, y'all. And two. This is actually my size large. I'm gonna show y'all both the medium and large and how it fits on me. So y'all probably looking at the large and see how it fits. Cause I don't know how these fits. You can't try them on like I mentioned. But yeah, man, off whites in the building. Now, if y'all looking for this particular shirt, they're probably gone by now. Matter of fact, I know for a fact they're gone. Cause I went back another day when I did another video and then it had any more. So this is again another spur of the moment. Y'all saw as soon as I walked in, they had them in there. Somebody told me, like, yo, they're right over there. And I went, there was only size small, and I was like, small, size small ain't gonna fit me. Ask an employee if they had additional sizes and they did. And I was able to obtain man so salute to that nike outlet and celebration also has the opportunity to wrap with some employees there and explain to me you know what's going on and how they like to uh cater to the locals moreover i know you guys are getting tired of me saying like nevertheless <laughs> i was able to cop these joints man these are the air jordan threes you already see them in the video Y'all watched the whole entire video up to this point. You already know what shoe this is. Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct. Now, 
As I was rapping with y'all in the store, giving my commentary on why I didn't cop these day one, it's all because I tried to cop, but my freaking sneaker app was not set to use cellular data. And I couldn't figure out why I wasn't able to purchase anything on the sneaker app for at least a month. And it wasn't until I was going through my iPhone, I realized like I didn't have cellular data turned on. And I'm like, when would I ever turn that off? I would have to intentionally go into the app, swipe that off and forget about it. I don't know why, that happened but it did so when i went to get these that saturday morning i remember specifically i was on my way en route to um the loop nike clearance store and these came out so i pulled over i was by the railroad tracks and i was like yo it's not working it's not working my homie's like yo there's still pairs available there's still pairs available and i'm like mine's just not working i got home and i just kind of forgot about it didn't care for it and then i saw these at my local foot action i saw these in the outlet for cheaper i think it was 180 and i felt i was cocky i was like yo they'll they'll come down lower and then it just disappeared <laughs> uh, but i'm happy to have it now now i did pay full retail 225 out the door no additional discounts kind of hurt knowing i could have got these cheaper but the pair i would have got back in the nike alley obviously they had the box lid and all that and i got the whole shebang right here and i like these way better than the animal instinct uh 2.0s but anyways man give you a little recap of the shoe if you haven't seen it this shoe may be in your local outlet right now as we speak uh, i had a lot of people hit me up they found them in their local outlet with additional discounts mine's did it unfortunately that was that varsity red Jumpman logo on the tongue you got that cow fur around there which i think they give you a little description a little disclaimer that this is made from real animals i don't know what this says there's a little disclaimer in here somewhere. What's the disclaimer at? Oh, it was a stick. There's a sticker in here. And the sticker reads, I guess I would have to kill the sticker off. Let's see if I can do my best. It says, uh, this shoe contains real fur. Fur type dyed adult bovine fur from original Brazil. Anyways, I'll sew on the shoe. Air bubble visible on both the medial and lateral side. Got a little cheetah print around the toe box. A little zebra print towards the back heel. And I don't know if that's giraffe or your, your cheetah rather. Anyways, man, that's it. Finally copped them. And I know a lot of you guys also saw the tills in the building that had additional 20% off. No, I have to cop, man. I gotta cop. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment for so long. And I did intentionally try to get them there, but as always, they weren't to my liking. So y'all see another video with my intent to purchase the childhood shoes for affordable price, man. So stay tuned to that. Other than that, man, it's a wrap. Off white and the Nike outlet. Animal Instinct 1.0s and a Nike outlet. Cop the Supreme jacket at the same Nike outlet. 2020 is looking pretty good for a Nike outlet celebration, man. Salute to y'all. Y'all coming through. Y'all come. Y'all. Y'all doing y'all thing, man. Keep it up. I'm wrapping it up. That's all I gotta say. If you like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. Everyone, chop it down in the comment sections because I would like to hear your comments and thoughts. And please don't ask me to pick any of these up. Please don't ask if there's anything left. If you watch this whole entire video, you would know these shirts no longer exist in the building. They're sold out. Am I selling my shirts? No, I'm not. So that said, this is just for entertainment purposes. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys like my pickups. I'm about to like to hear your thoughts and opinions. All right, until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap.